So what do we have to show for all of this spending and all of this hiring? Higher test scores? No, they're flat. Higher international rankings? No, as I described, they've been plummeting steadily. What we do have to show for all of the spending and all of the hiring is a huge bill to the taxpayer and an exploding education bureaucracy. The numbers convincingly demonstrate that America does not need to spend more money or hire more staff for our schools. Yet the, stat, the forces of the status quo continue to insist otherwise. President Reagan once famously quipped that status quo is just Latin for the mess we're in. Even the former Secretary of Education during President Obama's administration admonished, and I quote, the only way you can improve the system is to tell the truth. Sometimes it's a brutal, ugly truth. And the truth is American education is in a mess. This is not just bad news for children. It's bad news for the nation. In 2012, the Council of Foreign Relations commissioned a report co-chaired by Joel Klein of New York City and Condoleezza Rice. The Klein-Rice report, U.S. Education Reform and National Security, concluded that the U.S. education is characterized by, and I quote, a sclerotic bureaucracy, lack of incentive for innovation, and few award rewards for excellence in teaching. The study also noted that too many young people are not employable in an increasingly highly skilled and global economy. And too many are not qualified to join the military because they are physically unfit, have criminal records, or an inadequate level of education. The Klein and Rice report concluded that Education failure puts the United States' future, economic prosperity, global position, and physical safety at risk. 